Me, author Alexandrian they coming to you with a new review so now my camera is acting dumb I tried to do this video like four times already and um I believe like it's off for some reason I'm not sure maybe this phone is just like dead and it's time to because I do have another phone but I don't like how the pick the the what do you call it comes out and so now um, I was going to do the submission authors this week, but I'm not going to be able to because the actual, the cord came early from Best Buy, but it doesn't fit my computer, which is completely insane because I specifically made sure that I put in all the numbers, the serial numbers and all that stuff on the back of the computer to make sure that I got the right charger and it still doesn't fit my computer so I had to take it back to the drive up uh, Best Buy today and then they don't have another core so now the submission authors I can't get to their work because of the fact that um, I can't get into the computer until next week because I went on to Amazon I found one keeping my fingers crossed that it actually fits um, and it's supposed to come on the 16th. So that that's actually when I'll, I will be doing the submission authors. And hopefully by then we'll actually have, actually not the 16th. Today is the 16th. The 24th. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> the out the Best Buy cord was supposed to come the 16th. That's right. And it came yesterday. It came like a day early. So now the, uh, the cord that I had to buy off of Amazon, it doesn't come until the 24th of this month so i won't be able to do any of the submission authors until the 24th until i actually get my freaking um charger unless the authors send them straight to my kindle and so i will put it in i will put my kindle address in the link down there so if you are watching and you would like to submit to our channel and your book is already in a moby form or an epub form you can i you can send it straight as that to the uh multicultural romance latina in the moby or the um the kindle form i mean the moby or the epub form but it has to be in that because that way i can actually forward it to my kindle if you if it's not in that form then you're gonna have to wait until um i actually get back into my computer because jen doesn't jen normally does it but jen can't do it right now she's got so much stuff on her plate um because she's working from home so she's expected to be at work now whereas she used to take days off she doesn't have that excuse anymore <laughs> so now she has to be at work monday through saturday so yeah she's not she doesn't have a break right now so she can't do them so you have to send them to and i can't get into my computer so you have to send them specifically to my uh kindle if you want them on the channel right now or you can wait till the 24th and then send it in whatever form and then i will take it from there and so basically i can't get into um i can't get into the uh I can't drag them onto the the ebook. I mean the Kindle, or make them into an ebook or Moby form because I can't get into my computer. So what we are going to do up until that point is we are going to continue reading indie authors off of Amazon, which is what we were doing anyway. Um, we actually got some authors, some of the authors that we're doing, we got some tags on Facebook that were like, oh my God, thank you so much. The ones that, you know, weren't a part of our roster that are now because they enjoyed the review um, and they were happy that we did it for them. So we're going to keep going on with that. That being said, tonight's author is, just one second author Kinsey Haven and she writes erotic romance here is the cover it's called caught in the barn a cowboy erotica now this book was erotica and erotica only I did not realize that so now let me get my notes 
one second. I guess like my Batman shirt. I actually, I'm wearing this, which I really don't, because I hate Batman. But the whole point is half is Batman, half is Superman. And Superman is like my husband. So that's the only reason why I got it. Okay, so now this book, here's my little cat lady. This book follows um, uh, Melanie. And so basically what it is, is she sets out for a country... She sets out for the country in wide open spaces. Um, she pretty much, um, she just broke up with her boyfriend and now she's out of this relationship. So she wants to veg. She wants to get away from the city and all of that stuff because, you know, they just broke up. So it's not like she can get away from him or not go to the places that, you know, he goes to or whatever they did as a couple in a relationship. Now she wants to get away from that. And so she decides to go to Mama Sue's ranch. Um, it's called Sunflower Ranch. And so she leaves the city and she packs up and she goes down, down there. Okay, so now after three weeks, um, she meets uh, one of... She's supposed to start college in the fall. So that makes me think like she's very young. Um, and normally I don't read... Uh, I don't read this age, this age, it, had I known that, especially not an erotica, had I known that I would not have read this book, but, um, basically we were due a review tonight and I'm going to have to review our lead tomorrow. So, um, I decided to go ahead and read it and then, you know, finish it and then, uh, do our lead tomorrow because that takes up more space. Now, anyway. So I, I didn't, I would never have read this really and truly me personally, because of the fact that if she's going off to college in the fall, she can't be more than 19 years old. And I just have an issue with that. I can't, I believe, I believe personally, because I have daughters, you know, I have daughters, I have a daughter that that's eight, that that is that age. So it just rubs me the wrong way. And so I, but I can give a, a unbiased review of the book, regardless of the way that that just rubs me the wrong way. Okay. So now she, she's supposed to go to college in the fall. And then now after she, uh, she decides to, you know, leave the boyfriend, go or the ex-boyfriend goes, goes down to this ranch. And then after three weeks, she meets this guy, Bryce Malone. He's one of the cowboy ranch hands. And so now they have their little, you know, conversations, you know, whispered sweet nothings or whatever, but she's never touched him because he looks like he is a straight up playboy and that she would just be another notch on his belt. And at the same time, she kind of just wants to be that because of the fact that she's going off to college and she's not going to be staying here anyway. And so they pretty much, um, they have their little, uh, tay to tay, the whole, the whole point of it is caught in the barn. And so now the book ends on a cliffhanger. It isn't more than, um, let me see. Just one second. I think it's like 30 pages. Let me go to it right quick. Um, and it never says his age. Um, it doesn't. This was a freebie, but now it's $2.99. Um, so let me just one second. Yeah, I got it as a freebie uh, or Jen sent this to me as a freebie. Um, and it doesn't, it didn't really say, cause like the blurb itself, it doesn't even say her name. It just, it, uh, it says 18 and up, but I kind of feel like 18 is pushing it. And I don't know what these kids are reading nowadays. You know, that just like freaks me out because it might be what my daughter's reading. Um, so anyway, um, it's, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Like I thought it's 30, it's 31 pages. So it's very, very short. It doesn't get into detail that this is, this book is basically for a romp. There is no plot. There is none of that in this book. So, um, the issues that I had with it, with the small as it was one, of course the, the age, but 
you know, that's just me. That doesn't really count. That's me. Um, but the issues that I had is, um, I kind of felt like she didn't know him from Adams. You know, she spent three weeks on this ranch, but she didn't really know him to be let him tie her up like that. I was just like, girl, no. You don't know him three three weeks into, like, if you were just going to, you know, that's fine. Because you could do a one night stand. You could do it. That's still bad. But it's doable. You can get away with that. But to let this guy tie you up and you've only known him for three weeks and he a ranch hand and no. That just seemed a little much to me. Even though it's just erotica. Um, and then there were like, there was some word rep repetition. Like she said, the word, same word over and over, like, especially for it to be only 30 pages word repetition. You really, really, really have to watch that. Um, and then, um, the writing was very basic, very, very, very simplistic and basic. I, I just feel like this book was meant for you to get up. I'm sorry. I hope there are no there there shouldn't be any children out here because you can't watch today. These are not your days. But that's I feel like that's all this book was meant for. And so it's unfortunately it's books like this that kind of uh, I'm actually not going to star this book because I feel like if I did star it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be nice to the author, and that's not what we're here for. And so I just feel like, I feel like it's books like this that other erotic romance authors who do have a plot get like, you know, trashed for because this book had no plot. This book was just wrong. That's all it was. There was no, there was no forethought. This is, these are, this is my opinion. Remember that. These are all my opinions. You don't have to accept them if you don't want to. The authors don't have to accept them if they don't want to. I just kind of feel like this book had no plot. It was just to, to feature and focus on the intimacy because there's no plot for it. And so... I kind of feel bad for our authors like Kanisha, Arlie, um, Stephanie Burke, all of these, you know, these amazing authors who have a plot and a reason to the erotica. They're just showing you the relationship between the two characters, you know, um, that it be, oh, can you write Simon Allen? All of these ladies write this amazing erotic erotic romance and they have plots and there's a reason for this sex. And this book, there isn't. She just wants to get off. And so this is straight up erotica. So if you are looking for straight up erotica, then this would be the perfect book for you. Because I really felt like there was no plot. It was just, it was all about the sex. And that's what this book, this is what the girl wanted. This is what the book was about. And it says caught in the barn. So it pretty much tells you. So don't go into this book expecting a plot or anything remotely close to that. Because it's, that's not what this book is for. Or at least that's my opinion. I don't know what the author wrote it for. But to me, it's just not there. And so, um, I'm not going to start. Well, actually, I can start this book. If I start on erotica only, then she gets a, a three stars because of the fact that she wrote what she wrote. And that's what it is. So, in the, in the erotica realm, without a plot, she gets a three stars because she did work the, she did work the parts of the book well. Or, or at least very decently. So she would get a three stars on the erotica alone. But as far as the, the, the book, the plot, the story, I'm not going to rate that because I can't. Because if I were to rate that, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good. So I will give her, she gets a three stars for just the erotica alone. And so if you are looking for a, a, 
a romance that is on, uh, not even romance. I shouldn't even say romance. If you're looking for a book that's erotica only, then this is the perfect book for you. It's called Caught in the Barn, and it's by author Kinsey Haven. You can get this at Amazon.com. It was a freebie, but it's not a freebie anymore. Um, it is $2.99 now. So if you would like to pay the $2.99, um, then you make sure you go out and pick this book up and it will fit your cuppa. Now, tomorrow's author, since we are uh, doing the downloaded and the, um, of course, you know, I'm going to stick my author made in there. Um, unfortunately, Kanisha and, um, Kanisha and uh, SK don't have any more books for me to stick in. So it's pretty much only R. Lee now at this point. She has she has the books, um, but everyone else is done. Because uh, Kanisha and SK are babies. They pretty much just started. <laughs> Kanisha's been out for three years. Ah, oh, it's about the same. No, Kanisha's been out for f four? I think four and SK has been out for three. So they don't have a lot of books under their belt. Um, they like, Kanisha does have the, Kanisha has five and then SK has two. She writes under Lexi Smart as well. And then she writes under SK Blue. So she has two books. Well, she has one book and then a short. Um, we don't really classify that as a book. I mean, it's still a book, but it's like a short, short. Um, you know, like a novella, because it's not more than, it's only like 70 pages. It's part of our Christmas series, which I'm going to totally pump up this coming Christmas, because I think you guys would really, really enjoy them. But um, anyway, so tomorrow we are going to be reading Arlie's Cats and Dogs. Or I shouldn't even say dogs. It's Cats and Dogs. It's meant that way. So. Cats and dogs. Basically, um, I will read you the blurb. When her best friend and colleague Annabelle invited Abril to a weekend getaway to relieve her stress, she had no idea what an actual dog house was. When he walked into the room dressed in his Navy SEAL getup, Abril knew then and there that it would be a weekend she would soon never forget when mina invited samuel and his seal buddies to the women's retreat he was hard pressed to say no yet what astonished him even more was the fact that he was the actual treat 150 women there to relieve stress and he was on the menu Never in his life did he assume that a woman's appetite was just as voracious as a man's. But as he considered deep brown eyes behind the Aphrodite mask, he knew there was actually more to his goddess than she was willing to give. And now I've already read this book um, because normally... Um, if I don't buy it myself, then normally Arlie, Kenny, and um, uh, Serene will send me their books just, you know, to get a review or to um, to see if I actually like them. And nine times out of ten, I do. Now, I really like this book. It was very cute. So, I hope you guys enjoy it tomorrow. Once So, once again, tonight's book was called... Just one second... Tonight's book was called Caught in the Barn, an erotic cowboy romance. No, I mean, a erotic, a cowboy erotica. So I'll get it right in a second. And it's by Kenzie Haven. And there's the book cover. So now if you guys are looking for, you know, some straight up, pop out there and get this. It's totally for you. And then tomorrow we will be reading my housemate, author, MC author, R. Lee Parker. And her books, her book, Cats and Dogs, the Sex Can't Beat Love series. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. So we will fit, we will continue on with the, uh, 
with the Amazon downloads. And if there is a book out there that you guys want us to review, we can totally buy it because I don't have an issue with that. I buy I buy a lot of books all the time. So if there's something that you really want us to review before you go and purchase it yourself, especially now, this is the perfect time to do it from now until the 24th. We will totally do it. Just let us know what the title is. Put it down there in the box. Also remember, we have the $50 gift card that's up for grabs that we will be announcing on April 30th. So make sure that you are leaving your comments that you are, oh my God, this freaking ice cream truck. Have you guys heard this ice cream truck through this entire video? He is, I'm telling you, y'all, I think he'd be some Wait, He is not just out there for ice cream because this will happen like at uh, 10 o'clock at night. You know he ain't selling no ice cream. Anyway, so basically... Make sure that you guys leave your shout outs and you, um, because that's how you're going to be entered for the gift card. You know, I'm going to go through and Jen's going to randomly pick a reader down there. So make sure that you are leaving your shout outs, commenting on the video. That's how you get chosen for the gift cards. And um, that's pretty much it. Please like this video. Subscribe if you are a new viewer and you've never been on our channel before. Make sure you subscribe. Click that little button down there and then pop over, like go to one little space next to it and click that little bell. So every time we upload a video, you will get the new one. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys tomorrow with a new review. Thanks, budgets!